What up, people? YouTube, brass lovers. Some say brass nerds. Hey, I'm one of you now. Welcome to Donald's Trumpets Vintage Horns. Welcome to my channel. This is all about brass. Don't be confused by the name, but my dad, Donald, God rest his soul, when he passed, left me a lot of really cool vintage horns. So, hey, I'm sure there are people out there that are probably wanting to at least tinker around on the trumpet or a cornet, and they go to walmart.com or amazon.com, and they're probably uh, floored by the sticker shock. Don't worry about the clang. You're probably worried about the sticker shock, and then, you know, you can go on and find some no-name brands or knockoffs from China that are relatively affordable, uh, but they have a lot of bad reputation as far as quality goes. Just like a crappy car, you can buy a brand new car and it drives wonderful for the first 40,000 miles and then it falls apart. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed that with trumpets too, as going through this collection, most of them are uh, typical American manufacturers, vintage within that period of quality from let's say the 40s through the 70s. Uh, but there are a couple of ones that I checked out that are absolutely beautiful. I mean, this one you can see is all tarnished, etc. but I'll have some shiny trumpets and the valves are completely locked up. And that's just quality. It's the quality of the metals, the construction, etc. But so you wanna learn how to play, but you don't know what to do. Well, here's my biased opinion, but I think there's actually some legitimacy to it. I saw a comment from a guy from a YouTube channel, Brass Seller, and he said, vintage trumpets, vintage cornets, are hands down a better buy than uh, brand new horns. Why is that? Well, for one, you're gonna buy them at a fraction of the cost of what a horn would be new. And for two, there's a market for them. So if you do try it and you don't like it, more than likely you'll be able to sell it back and make your money back. So kind of a cool, uh, cool proposition for you there. Uh, but yeah, I would say, and, and the neat part is too, so learning is a pretty uh, intimidating task. There's a lot to do. Uh, I had zero interest in the trumpet for my entire life until I you know, inherited this collection, and now I'm playing. So I wanna be inspiration to people. You can truly do anything you want, and uh, you know the days drag by, but the years fly. So don't waste time. Go ahead and start looking and uh, pick up a horn and just start playing. Uh, one thing that I like a lot, I've always been a guitar player uh, by trade, and I haven't picked up the guitar really since I got these horns, and I've been able to connect with the music a lot better, similar to you know breathing exercises for meditation. When you're playing the trumpet, you're actually breathing through the instrument, and I just get a lot more satisfying feel. Not only are you learning music and playing something beautiful, but it's also uh, relaxing at the same time. Uh, so, let's take a look at this horn. Um, on this channel, I'm going to be going through horn by horn, just to catalog and create a record before I send them to the marketplace. But this one right here on, is on the, probably the lower end of prices for vintage horns. Uh, this is a York Custom, and you can see, well, let's see here. You can see it's got this engraving that goes all the way up here, kind of like a ribbon effect. And then you can see the lacquer's missing, but this ribbon goes all the way around the rim here. I think this would be considered a long cornet. Um, you can see the bell extends a little bit further than uh, some of the traditional shorter ones do. Um, I'm gonna be playing on a Martin 7 mouthpiece. This is a mouthpiece that comes with the committee. And let's give it a whirl. So I've been playing When I Fall in Love. It's a Chris Bodie version of Frank Sinatra song. Uh, just as comparison, so if you're if you're watching these videos, if you're following me, you'll probably your ears going to get in tune to that song, and you'll be able to hear the difference amongst the horns. So I'll play this and then compare it to a Martin Committee. So without further ado, let's jump into it. <laughs>
custom. And let's give it a whirl on the Martin Committee. And yeah, look at this. So let's see if these are the same length or short. Yeah, so you can see the York is slightly short or, or longer than the committee is. Just slightly. It's enough for my eye to grab it though. So you can hear the slotting difference in this committee, and I say that um, every time I use this as a comparison. I definitely have a much more challenging time navigating through the notes. Um, so which one do I like better? Uh, well, I will say the committee automatically because it's a committee, but this horn projects really well. Um, the committee definitely did seem to have a, a little bit of a more rich, warm tone to it, but... <laughs> So yeah, you can hear the nuances in the two. Uh, yeah, but I would go with that one. I think I would go with the committee, uh, only because I have a committee to choose from. But back to my original topic, if you want to learn how to play, don't, don't waste time. Just buy one. I don't care if you get one from me, but there are thousands of trumpets available, vintage used horns online that you can pick up for a pretty good price. And, and like I said, you can pick up a professional trumpet for less than you can buy a student trumpet new. And they, they play better. Obviously, you have to do your due diligence. Um, I've got a little bit of experience now on horns, so if you have questions, want to know what to look out for, feel free to message me. But you can do it. You really can. And it is one of the most satisfying endeavors that anyone can do. If you like music, you've always wanted to try, pick one up and give it a shot. Um, and follow me. Make sure to click uh, subscribe on this channel. If you like vintage horns, you've come to the right place because we're swimming in a sea of a man, woman, whoever. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, like I said, don't waste time. If you want to do it, just do it. Pick it up. If you want to learn more about this cornet, feel free to message me. Send me a DM, send me a public message, whatever. But uh, yeah, this one will be going up for sale. I like it, but can't keep them all. So that's how we go. Thanks again. Have a great day. See you on the next one.